Good afternoon, or maybe good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today, I have created another video for your class purposes, which can help you and help us to have a more time after the semester break. Okay, today we are going to discuss three main objectives. Okay, after we learn about uh, fuzzy reasoning method, we are going to learn about learning method, okay? Learning method, learning system. So introduction of the learning system, okay? And uh, we will take the linear regression as an example, okay? Today, you also learn a very interesting concept that you can actually inverse a matrix, regardless it is symmetry or non-symmetry. Yeah. And of course, number three, we will implement uh, you know, you can do manual calculation, but there is a limit where the matrix cannot be too big, the calculation cannot be too long. But I will still demonstrate to you, including how do we do it, inverse matrix for a non-symmetry matrix. Finally, we will go for the implementation is by MATLAB coding. Okay, so that's the three objectives today. Okay, let's move on to the first objective. Okay, this is a... Uh, information on notes about the first objective which is a learning system by using a simple regression concept and then uh, introduction of the i mean the concept of manipulating the matrix even though it's non non uh, symmetry okay first let's see you have two matrix x and y where x is a single column four row matrix while y is the uh, three column four row matrix okay so so in general we know the y is the output based on the function of x and e and the unknown coefficient the unknown coefficient labu unknown okay we're going to find out what is this labu okay and then again because uh, because the the numbers are looks similar we can safely assume it is a linear relationship where y is actually the input x multiply an unknown coefficient, a parameter labu. Okay, so we know labu is a coefficient that map the x to the y. Okay, now uh, judging from the dimension okay, of the x and y, we know labu must be a single row, three column matrix. Okay, must be. It must be. Okay, so the question, how do we find the labu? There are many ways, but I'm going to introduce, uh, I'm going to focus on two ways. One way is by human brain analysis. The other way is by linear algebra. Okay, from there, uh, surprisingly proven that your brain know more than you know. Okay, yeah, you and your brain is two different entities. Okay, let's start. Now, we can take the first we can take the x compare with the first column of x which is like this or you may you, if you prefer to see here this is the x let's compare with the first column of the x obviously it is the same where output y is directly equal to the input x yeah so they give us a conclusion in order to get y in y okay the first column of y you need to multiply one to the x okay so it's a linear regression concept therefore the unknown labu one easily found as positive one now let's move on to the second column okay the second column how do we get the x to the second column of y? Obviously, by multiplying negative 2. So we know labu 2 is negative 2. So we have labu 1 is 1. Labu 2 is negative 2. And finally, the labu 3. How do you get 0 from x? When x is 1, y is 0. Yeah, I missed one zero. Maybe I should put it back here. Okay. Yeah, somehow I missed one zero. Supposedly, there's another zero here. So, 
how do we get the uh, zero no matter what is the x so conclusion it has to be w3 equals to zero yeah so in other words without any sing single mathematic equation we are able to get all the lab one lab two and lab three just by just by looking on the uh, input versus the respective column of output yes there's no mathematic equation needed okay so we have the conclusion we found lab one lab one uh, w1 w2 and w3 just like that okay how how about i mean in our brain how about using some logical uh, uh proof solid proof mathematic equation yes let's use linear algebra one of the best uh and challenging mathematic okay so we know the equation y equals to x multiply w we just develop the linear equation okay and we know by applying the inverse of x in both sides of the equation okay so this part basically will be cancelled off because it is equal to the identity so therefore you have the w equals to x inverse multiply y which is quite a simple linear algebra concept but but there is a problem x is non-symmetric matrix in this case okay let me remind you this is x a single column but four row it's a it's non-symmetry obviously this is non-symmetry okay so so for years ever since high school you were told that we are not allowed to inverse a matrix that non-symmetry let me tell you this is not or not so accurate anymore because uh scientist mathematician has found a method called Mu Penrose pseudo inverse matrix method. Okay, this method can inverse any matrix, whether symmetry or non symmetry. Interesting, right? So, so compared to the normal inverse matrix, Mu Penrose pseudo inverse matrix is more general. Yeah, it's a superset, while the normal inverse matrix that you learned so far is a subset. Eh? Because Mu Penrose pseudo inverse matrix is a general method that can inverse whether whether symmetry or non symmetry matrix. Okay, let's see how it goes. So this is an equation of Mu Penrose pseudo inverse matrix. In order to get the inverse matrix of a matrix, regardless if it is symmetry or not, you need to get the transposition, multiply the original matrix, and then the whole thing inverse. And then multiply the transpositions again. Okay. So I guess uh, I have a small mistake here. It should be X. Eh? Where? Uh, no, no, no. Where X is actually the... XT means the transposition of X. Lah. Okay. Good to find out. I make a typo mistake here. Yeah. Where XT is a transposition of X. So let's start the ma manual calculation by hand. Now... You have an X, you make a transposition, it becomes a single single row. And then you multiply with the original single column X. So you get the answer. A single row multiply single column become a single number, 2.5 in this case. And then let's do the inverse of it. The uh, inverse of the single number is actually 1 over. So you get 0 0.4. And then, don't forget, we need to multiply the original, trans, original X transposition. So... So you have a 0 0.4 multi multiply with the answer that uh, with the original uh, x but transpose. So this is your final, uh, your conclusion. What is inverse matrix of x? Which is this one. Okay. Then we put inside our equation for labu. The transpose of the x multiply the y. Can you multiply? Yes, perfectly multipliable because you have a you have a single row matrix, okay, with four row multiply a matrix that four row three column. So the answer will give you a labu that single row three column, which is exactly same as our human brain analysis. Okay, so in other words, our brain can do so much 
better than what we know. We know the answer while the conventional mathematics cannot find until you learn the concept today, the pseudo inverse matrix. Of course, there are arguments. Are you sure this method works fine? Okay, of course, it works fine. We can prove it using MATLAB letter. But before that, let's see. Let's see. If this is a pseudo inverse, okay. If this is a pseudo inverse, try to multiply pseudo inverse. I mean, the inverse. The inverse. Okay, the inverse. If you multiply the inverse, uh, sorry, if this is the inverse, you multiply with the original x. Do you get identity? Yes, you will get the identity. You can try. Okay, this is a pseudo inverse. And this is the original x. You multiply, you get a 1.0 identity. Of course, we will do the programming. Uh, Programming letter. Eh? Now, let me do a remark first. Now, the mathematical process of finding a coefficient labu via a, via a historical data, this is a keyword, historical data, is so called learning or training of a learning based AI, which is what we call neural network or machine learning okay so the concept of learning or training in ai is nothing more or nothing less than a mathematical process finding the coefficients using historical data yes this is training this is learning okay so or of course the actual scenario in the real world has much more data and the, and the relationship is no longer linear we will cover after this but at least now you know training or learning in ai is not magic it is mathematics with logical process and historical data okay guys so this is part number two uh we will continue later with the uh, maglab programming implementation okay let's go to the maglab uh, for implementation here i'm using ipad uh, that's why i use a maglab online account okay you actually can use it, meaning that if you have a, uh, iPhone, iPad, I think Android as well, you can download from the App Store or Play Store, and then you can log in using Uniten student account. Of course, you can use the computer version as well, like what I've been telling you to install and download. The command and the code that I'm going to demonstrate here is exactly the same. Okay, guys. Okay, let's start. Okay, let's start the uh, MacLab. So we have a X and y as given here okay let's do it let's do it together yeah so we have the x and y here so uh therefore we say x equals to the input one negative i hope you can see maybe i make it a little bit bigger uh, uh setting yeah i think i can make the text bigger okay i hope so now you can see okay one 0 0.1 0 0.5 sorry 0 0.5 negative 0 0.5 and negative 1 so this is our x without typing the semicolon symbol behind uh, maglet will show the result it eh? hmm. yeah i i actually forgotten one one uh, one symbol here okay now we have it so this is our x matrix which is the same as here x matrix eh so now what about the y matrix it works the same we just have to type the y matrix uh, first is uh, 1 negative 2 0 the second row is uh, 0 0.5 negative 1 0 the third row is negative 0 0.5 positive 1 and 0 last row is negative 1 positive 2 and 0 yeah, so this is the Y matrix. This is a Y matrix. Uh, I sh it should be the same as the Y matrix over here in our calculation example. So now we have the Y matrix. We have the X matrix. Uh, to get the Labu, we know Labu is the uh, inverse of X multiply Y. But if we type this equation, there will be an error because uh, INV is a conventional inverse matrix. 
require a square matrix, a symmetry matrix. So this is not what we can do. We should do the P I N V. P stand for Mu Penrose pseudo inverse matrix. So let's hit the enter key. Blah blah. We got it. This is our result. Okay, which is exactly. Uh, lab one equals to one, lab two equals to negative two, lab three equals to zero, which is exactly exactly same as our analysis through the uh, brain analysis as well as through our manual calculation. Exactly the same. Now, let me show you a few things. How do I prove? Sometimes people are questioning, sir. How do you prove this uh, pseudo inverse matrix? It's actually an inverse matrix. Actually, it's quite easy. Now, remember we have the original X. <coughs> this is the original X. We have the pseudo inverse of X. Okay, pseudo inverse matrix of X. So now, imagine you have a pseudo, you have an inverse matrix. Multiply the original. So what do I get? I should get the identity matrix. Let's have a look. Yes. This is an identity matrix. Single uh, number one is identity matrix. Okay, let's show you another example. Uh, let me clear clear the screen and eh? show you an example. Imagine you have a two by two matrix. You know, let's say a random number or two two by two matrix. This is a random number or two by two matrix. How do we inverse? Let's say you know x inverse number one is equals to i m v inverse of x. Okay, a normal inverse matrix. So this is a normal inverse matrix. Now, if I say X inverse or number two, we use a P inverse of X. Surprise? No, not surprise. They are the same answer. Same answer. What does it mean? Meaning if you have a matrix that you are not so sure the dimension or you, are, you want to use the same program code to run for all metrics, you better use PINV because it is general version. Yeah, it is a, a superset while INV normal inverse is a subset. Okay, it's a subset. So uh, maybe we try one more time. Let's say X is a, is a matrix of, it's a matrix of, uh, you know, 8 by 4. 8 by 4. So we can get the x inverse by pseudo inverse is actually PINV of x. So you get the pseudo inverse. If you type the pseudo in, uh, inverse, multiply the original, you are getting an identity matrix. See? Identity matrix. So pseudo inverse, move panel pseudo inverse, it works. It works fine. It works perfectly fine. Okay, now, last thing I would like to show you is the command we type here is actually can be written in program code okay so i if you use the mac lab in the windows it's quite easy you can see uh, if you use in the online version yeah this is a file okay this is a command it's actually collection of the commands but i type in the m file lah. you can just directly run okay so i will share the mac lab code with you I will share the video with you and I will share the uh, derivation into PDF file with you. Okay. So we will continue another round. Today we have only three short video. Uh, quite small file. I'm quite sure you can download. Tomorrow I will give you or maybe Tuesday I give you another discussion about uh, once you know the learning system, let's talk about the neuron. The neuron. Artificial neuron, biological neuron for learning purposes okay guys thank you so much for listening and uh, and seeing my video goodbye for now